Are you losing interest in the little things? Are your favorite things bringing out the meh in you? Are you feeling overwhelmed? Irregular sleep pattern? Feeling lonely in a room full of people? Are you always drained? Mental health affects one in four of us. You guys just beat it. So, seeing that it's mental health week, I thought we here at Jambo would see what people on the street have to say about it. Do you guys do anything particular for your mental well-being? No. <laughs> <laughs> like swimming? Do like swimming? Swimming, <laughs> swimming. I thought you said women. <laughs> Uh, I was like, women as well. <laughs> <laughs> but not always the best for your mental health. It, oh, well, oh, well this, uh, this is true, but then a cuddle, a cuddle always oh, yeah, it definitely. says a lot. Yeah. Definitely. Saunas. Skiing. <laughs> skiing? Yeah. All right, oh, cool. What about for us poor people that can't afford to go skiing? <laughs> Hiking. Hiking, I liked it, yeah. Use your walking, use your walking shoes. Yeah, get get to walk. Nature. Both young people and older people, um, it, it's been shown in surveys and research that they both um, basically are, suffer from isolation and loneliness. Away from your peer it gives you more of a chance to have a chat with someone about something that you normally wouldn't talk about. Yeah, always always take care of your mental health, I would say. Because it does affect one Yeah, oh, definitely. I, yeah, I, I definitely had issues myself in the past. Laughter has numerous psychological and emotional advantages. Like, uh, boosting your immune system. And your serotonin levels. Strengthening the blood flow. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But, here's a couple of examples that you could do at home. Stop and enjoy the small aspects of your day. Stop strangers, speak to them, compliment them. If I've seen you, I would say I, I like your, your style. Uh -huh. uh, and that gives people a bit of confidence in what they do, you know. So that's one of the main things, you know. And we'll maybe take pictures, we'll say to them, if you're on Instagram, which most of them are. Of course, yeah. Uh, most of them are, and we'll send a, a, a picture to them on Instagram. Things like that. Oh, that's awesome. You know why everybody's retired, got mental issues? Everybody's got mental issues. And the missus, when I first joined, my missus gave me three weeks. I've been there for three years. Oh, really? I love it. And it's open on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Is there a website for the men's yeah, just punch it up. It's worldwide. Clydebank men's shed, that's the one I'm attached right, to. Right, okay. But there's about 15, 20 in Scotland. All oh, right, so they're dotted around the place. Yes, yeah, so. it's a registered charity. Okay, know? right. And yeah, we do a lot of work for the community and all the rest. You can perform random acts of kindness. Scramble! The, um, generations are separated. You know, uh, young people end up going, um, maybe moving away from a community to go to university. Mm -hmm. And older people are generally left in the community. And often it's, it's there's a, an invisible barrier between where older people meet and where younger people meet. And um, so we kind of do a lot of work on prejudice and stereotypes and we look at ageism. Okay. But we look at ageism towards younger people as well as ageism towards That's older people. It's a two-way yeah. street, isn't it? Yeah. Or you could do yoga. Like this guy. I like to keep active. I think that's important. Um, you, the camera makes me walk more than anything because I'm out with that camera. And I'm often speaking to people in the street and saying, well, I like your colours. They get a shot and usually you get a nice reaction. I would say 99, 98% of the time you get a positive reaction from people. And I would say, I used to do a regular clockwork every Friday pub. Pigeons or something? No need for it now? Nah, no. Nah. I've tried, I've went to the pub on the Friday, had one time, I went and I got one, because the men's says open on Saturday. And you don't want to be getting any of a hangover deal with the machinery. This place, yeah, of course, yeah. So, uh, that's how. So nobody really drinks. It helps everybody in the community. It's really good. Or you could try some meditating and deep breathing exercises. Well, the service you provide, is, it, is there a website that people can obviously yes, go to? Yes, there's a website and it's, it's www.generationsworkingtogether.org. Generationsworkingtogether.org. Yeah, and it's a free membership for anyone working or living in Scotland. And we have lots of resources and training and lots of information. I, I could do with the cooking connection. The cooking <laughs> connection. There's all sorts of projects. There's a really nice one that recently won an award in Edinburgh and it's called Edinburgh Garden Partners and the younger people will volunteer to go and, and uh, work with older people in the older person's right, garden. Yeah. Right, so that's quite nice. Or you could do something as simple as pet a dog. Oh yeah, you do a little gag. You are right. <laughs> it's okay not to be okay, but talk to someone. It might make you feel better. 